Welcome back to the channel. In this one, I cook with three other great chefs in a Michelin star restaurant. Did I make chicken liver mousse with churros? Yes. Did I set the restaurant on fire? Maybe. It's gonna be a fun one. It's kind of different. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right, y'all. Today, uh, you already finished all this. Got yes. all these top <laughs> chefs here today. We're gonna be making not only churros, but their also take on getting up on what's this? Maker's Mark. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's just go over what we make today. I got hot honey Maker's Mark fried chicken, super crispy, super easy for everyday man. Jake, what you got? Sweet and sour shrimp and bacon meatballs with a shrimp head kanji. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I got a very nice tray ready to go, sloppy pow. So it is our potato and cauliflower stuffed in pow bread, finished with a spiceology all potato spice. Just want to take this moment to mention this is Chef Akshay, my bro, and this is his restaurant, Janoon. I called pow. Guests were actually complaining that the sauce was so good and so addictive that they wanted to eat it with something. So that's when we decided we'll pair this bread. Let's try a little bit of the sauce first, and then we'll take a shrimp each. Always with the strategy, Andrew. I'm a Michelin star Indian restaurant, really good. Come to our pop-up in one week, by the way. What? And I just got the churro with chicken liver mousse and uh, green strawberries, which tastes like fruity pebbles. Fruity pebbles? Yeah. You're, oh, a, you're, you're a mad man. You're really good. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Check it out. We've got these soaking in milk overnight. Chicken livers. This is what it looks like. I'm doing a double batch. This is what I got over here, Michael. Two of these. These are called six pans, by the way. I'm just kind of working with what I got. I don't have any shallots, so I'm gonna use some red onions and then some garlic, lemons. Got some pink peppercorn and some white pepper. That should be good. So let's get some onions chopped. And then this guy right here, the garlic, you can chop that up or just microplane it. That's what I'll do to get it a little finer. Our red onion, a little bit of oil in there. Pink peppercorn. White pepper. Makers. Garlic. I try to do this last so it doesn't burn. Lemon juice. What they're looking for is a medium rare. I don't want to overcook them. See like how it's still kind of raw on the other side? That's what I want. Over to the blending part. Adding a little salt to taste, salt and pepper. Now what we're gonna do here, dude, is we're gonna create an emulsification. I get it spinning there. Got my butter here. This is cold butter. It's just to help bring it all together and then it's gonna emulsify it. Kinda like when you're making a force meat, you wanna get real technical, even like a vinaigrette, right? The fats emulsify it. Now we're looking for super silky smooth, smooth as fuck. We're looking for milkshake consistency. That's what we want. There we go, dude. Here's our silky smooth chicken milkshake. It's still not super smooth. This is fine too. You can serve it like this, but it's all about texture here. Cheese cloth with a perforated hotel pan. Don't forget to wash your berries. We got these beautiful green strawberries. We need to sponsor us, these people, huh? <laughs> Right now we're just macerating these berries. This is gonna be a garnish for the chicken liver dish. We're gonna do churros, chicken liver mousse, macerated berries. So right now these churros have been frozen, so that's why I'm able to easily cut them. Couldn't find a bowl, so here's what we got. Right there, some of the almonds, some of the flake salt on that. And I would do, you know, maybe three berries all around. There's our bite right there. Fatty, sweet, and then you got like the tanginess. Yeah. It's all the spots, yeah. Little chicken liver mousse, churros with that blend. Very fruity culture, right? Right? Is it all here? Can't lose any of that, it's too good. <laughs> hey everybody, Isaac Toops here with Maker's Mark and Spiceology. We got my mama's buttermilk fried chicken made wonderfully with the Maker's Mark spice blend. We got a little hot honey Tabasco. We're gonna drizzle right over that. Super simple, super easy. We got a double dill pickle, We're gonna garnish that. And this is fried chicken at its best. Sweet and sour shrimp meatballs with a shrimp head kanji ladle meatballs garnish out the door. Okay. All right, so I'm just finishing my kanji with a little bit of melted butter. I don't want a lot of this. 
Shrimp meatballs are out the oven. I have a nice little glaze, soy, brown sugar, maker's mark, fish sauce, lime juice, distilled vinegar, right on the kind of center of that plate. Crispy garlic, a little chili, oil, garnish of fresh cilantro just scattered. And there you go, you got sweet and sour shrimp and bacon meatballs with a shrimp head congee. Little spice, little sweet, little crunchy, little heat. Potato and cauliflower stuffed in pow bread, finished with a spiceology all potato spice blend. This is a maker's mark tiramisu with a madras curry jalet and an Assam tea ladyfingers.